Hey guys, just quickly wanted to add one more little thing to this tutorial series. I wanted to show you guys how if Music Brains doesn't find the information automatically using the lookup or the scan, how you can manually investigate more and potentially find the album information. It's very easy, so I guess you would call this the fourth step if you still have some unmatched files or unmatched things in the clusters here on the left side. All you gotta do is come here, and in our case here, it's under clusters, and we have the artist, and we have the album name here because it wasn't tagged correctly, and it wasn't named correctly. You can see our files aren't named correctly, but we do have this little bit of information that we can use to potentially find the tags for this. So what you can do is you can click look up in browser right here, and that's gonna open a search query in Music Brains for you where you can potentially find the album information for this uh, unmatched file, unmatched album over here in the clusters. Now, in this case, it's not working. For some reason, this, this album isn't in the Music Brains database, but you can see that it has found a bunch of albums because it has automatically entered this artist and this release here. Typically, you're going to be able to find the album. This one may be too new that it's not actually in the database, but if it were, all you would have to do is click this little green tagger right here and it's going to put that album information right into the software for you and then you can simply save the tag information uh, in this case it did not find it so there is one final way that you can look up the information to see if you can find it and you'll see this little note that says that this search index is updated every three hours if the content is just added and you can't find it uh, you can check this uh, other search page right here. This is a long shot, but you can type in the artist here and click on direct database search. And now you can click on search and we can see if maybe it has been recently added. And here he is, and let's see. And this is now listing all of his albums. Search for back home in the finder or in the search bar up in the browser. It does not look like we can find it manually either. So the very last thing, if you want to get this album named correctly, what you can do is you can actually just go through and name it yourself if you find the information online. I know it's not ideal and you probably won't have very many that are like this, but if you want everything to be perfect, you can actually go through. We couldn't find the tags, but we know that the album is called Back Home Again because of the folder it's in and we know that the artist is Daniel O'Donnell and we want to tag it correctly. What we can do is just come down here under new value, make sure that the whole cluster is selected and under artist we can put Daniel O'Donnell and under album we can put back home again and if you wanted to go through one by one and actually give them titles you could if you found it online on Wikipedia or something you could copy paste the title of each track in here and it will then go ahead and if you save it will modify all these files and give it the correct tag for what you could find anyways i hope by now you have a complete full understanding of how you can tag and organize your entire music library mostly automatically and if you can't do it completely automatically how to semi-automate it and how to then manually go ahead and edit it if need be Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and find me on Facebook. That's facebook.com backslash mytechadventures. Tech tip guy on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.